Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the Horde Survival Action Roguelike itself, but modded though, because we're going to be checking out the Recruiter in the Violence Aesthetic mod here once again. I love this character. I think it's so good. Basically, you get to buy characters in the shop and you get to combine them together into one super character. On average, you'll get to buy like four characters throughout the course of the run. You use your levels to buy them. It's just very, very cool. I want to go for a crossbow run. Why? It's just been a while, which is kind of a fun thing about this character is that you're like, you know what? What weapon do I want to use? And then it's like, okay, how do I draft out a run that makes sense with that weapon around it? By like, you know, what characters am I getting in the shop? Obviously, there's some that work better than others for this weapon. There's some that are basically designed for this weapon. Will we get them? Who knows? We do want crit. Apprentice is a really good, safe choice for this that we have also... Okay, all right, let's just... Let's, okay, let's rub the band-aid off. This is obviously the character I was talking about. This one was designed for this. So let's get the hunter. There we go. We have the crossbow key that this is made for this character, basically. 100 range, 1% damage for every 10 range you have. Crit chance modifications up by 25%. Harvesting modifications up by 100 or down by 100%. Max HP modifications down. So uh, some very cool things for this character, for this weapon. It scales on range. This is just... Obviously, I wanted this character. Getting it first is going to be very cool. Like, that helps a lot. It takes this weapon from being... Um, really bad in the early game to just kind of bad like it's you <sighs> crossbow i i love i love the theory of it i love exactly like what it you know what you can do with it the late game is always pretty you know pretty stupid with it let's be real but it does need to get there damage from range crit chance modifications up yeah uh i'll get a little bit of attack speed chunky Um, if we were to get any, if we were going to get Gummy Berserker on anybody, it'd be this character, but I need to get some more crossbows. I'll grab the blue. More important than anything is going to just be like, get your six crossbows and go from there. God, it feels nice for the universe to just smile down on you and say, yeah, that character you want, it's just right here. That being said, I do. I was gonna, one of the things I was gonna mention is how I did kind of want to see what this weapon looked like not on the hunter. God, I always forget the name. So I always want to say ranger because it's a range character, but ranger is different. Uh, but hey, just as uh, likely, I'd like to see something stupid with it. Okay, believer is interesting. Start with a random, I don't know if we get these. Tier four item and tier three item. Increase the chance for the tag for those to appear. Gain more stats from positives, more negative stats as well. Unfortunately, it doesn't... One, it doesn't tell me what the items would be. The Believer normally does. And it doesn't say what tags we're going to get, so I just... I don't want to ruin it. We want to play online. Shall we call it? Um, Jack is good, but also dissynergistic in a way. Eh, who cares? Let's do it. Jack is a really good baseline, because... You know what I could do? I could get loud. I could get Jack and loud, maybe. That would be a really, really fun combo, especially getting it, getting Jack and then loud. So we can take some time to scale up into that nasty, nasty late game that Crossbow is capable of before we eventually get more. But we could just take Jack and then grab like, you know, any gentle aliens we find. Basically, he makes the game a lot harder, but then also you get a lot of rewards. I love the character. I think it's a very, he's a very fun character. He does make the game noticeably harder at some times, though. Get some range up. Can't get harvest thing. Gotta remember that. Guess I'll take some range. Grab broken mouth. I want a little bit of. I know I have the the health scaling down. That's not a reason to not buy health. That's a reason why we need health more, especially if we're going for Jack, who increases enemy damage. <laughs> like he makes it a little bit sketchy. But uh, crossbow upgrades very very well. It increases the critical damage, critical chance, base damage. 
attack speed and the piercing. It's just silly. It's just silly how much better it gets. Like, when you look at the upgrades, you're, you go, oh yeah, the starting level of this has to be bad. <laughs> like, otherwise, if you're going to be increasing all of that stuff, the starting one has to suck. And it does. It does. It sucks. But, uh, good God, does it get better. Lumberjack shirt, sure. I'll definitely take a 10% here. Take some lifesteal as my angle. For upgrades, I'll grab a baby gecko because it gives us range now. I don't think I've played Hunter since baby gecko is given range. Kind of nice. It's a, you know, so it's 10 range up, which is one damage up and 1%. So it's one flat damage and 1% damage up is what that equates to, which may not sound like a big deal, but getting one flat damage on a ranged weapon is already pretty good. You know, it's not easy to get one flat range damage in the early game. And it's the equivalent of that. Whoop. And a f basically, and a free 1% damage, you know, pat on the back. Like, that's the way to look at it, right? It's a downsideless flat damage up and a pat on the back. Missile is good knowing that we're going to be um, slapping, oh, slapping Jack into the mix. We are going to want some percentage damage. It's like a 1.5 up. I'll get some attack speed. Piggy bank. I don't think I'm going to be hoarding too much. I will get a gentle alien in advance, knowing full well what hell hath awaits me. Jack does also get uh, a big boost to damage to bosses and mini bosses, so that's nice as well. All right, but yeah, so if you don't know, Jack, he basically turns everything into kind of like mini bosses, but cuts down the amount that spawn by a lot. So you need to focus fire your damage a little bit more. However, it also makes it so if you increase the amount of enemies that are there by 5%, you start to get like a lot more money really fast. Like a 5% enemy increase is a really massive change in both the difficulty and the econ for Jack. So I think that that's why that sounds kind of interesting and compelling here today. Because we got that good start with the um, the hunter that we can probably lean into that angle. It's my crit. Not good enough! Look at Jack. Brawler LOL. So what is, it, what is everything? 75% extra damage against boss and elite. Uh, but they also get a bunch more health, so it's like, it's kind of evens out. They do more damage, but there's a lot less of them, but they drop so much more money. Oh, I'll take that. Masochist? Masochist Jack is not a... That's a... That's a non-bow. Okay. All right. Okay, that's promising. That's promising. Him dying that quick, but look how much money they're dropping, you know? We obviously get a whole bunch of level ups as we uh, have made our purchase. We go back to level one. We spend our levels. That's the reason I got oh, so much of them right there. We spent our levels to get this character. Oh my god. And he is now part of us forever. But look at that extra money. Oh, mama. Look at that extra money. The way it drops, it's just so it's so satisfying to look at. Okay. It also puts the money in like an easier, more clumped up location. God. Yeah, getting reset to level one and then getting an econ blast. Beautiful. Uh lens is. I mean, it's worth eleven bucks, I guess. It's technically a point. No, it's a net neutral. <laughs> I was going to say it's a 0.5 damage up. No, it's a net neutral. It's not worth it. Percentage damage, very good. Flat range, very good. Okay. 12% damage. You love to see it. I'm looking for crit, though, man. Get a little bit of speed. Why not? Sick. I could. I don't think so. So, okay. So, Scar is... um bad, 
but it's also good because it increases our chance that we can get that elusive fifth character. Like, we'll, we'll get this third character, or, I mean, guarantees at bare minimum. Ooh. Baby with a beard is just not that good, unfortunately. It is... It, uh, I'll tell you what, it's also not that great for, um... Jack, anyways. Alright, so yeah, we're taking Scar not because... Not because it's good with the, uh, the Ranger, but because it's good with the, um... The Recruiter. That's the thing. The Recruiter loves experience. The character, the elusive character that's barely a character himself, he's just there. He's there and he can make the purchases. So it kind of feels like he doesn't exist. But he is kind of, he's the meta concept of the run. And that the meta concept of the run likes experience game. And uh, to a lesser extent, harvesting as well. Which we have, you know, locked ourselves out of by getting this character. But tis with tis. I'll say we're we're handling the um the five percent increase jack very well. I think we could handle another five percent. And look at just look how much money we get. God, that's so beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Enemies are scarier. That's gotta be remembered. Uh sure. Not sure. I guess. I need, like, armor. I'll just take some health, sure. Demon... Uh, right now. Thank you. Peaceful Bunny is fantastic. Tyrant. 50% all enemies drops. Oh my god. Wait. For every blank enemy... Yeah, 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 yeah. So, the fact that that won't start until we buy him is actually really interesting. Oh my god, it's so wacky. No, I don't want that. I'll have to take glasses. Luck and dodge. I'll take another peaceful bunny. What's the, what's the knockback on this? Yeah. Oh, the fact we can't get free rerolls. Tyrant is an interesting one, though. Like, because... Technically, the, the penalties of him are going to be greatly lessened. Greatly lessened. Especially because we're not going to be killing as many enemies because we're also Jack. This is, like, such a good combo that I didn't even think of. Interesting. I mean, yeah, well, curse me for uh, not remembering every single modded character that I've ever played and how they could poss possibly synergize with this completely unique combination of two characters that I've never had before. Curse me for that! But yeah, no, that's a... Uh, that's such a synergy because, yeah, Jack, there's a lot less enemies. Obviously, I'm going to try and grab more, but that means his passive that gives you the downside of his character, the whole reason why he isn't just busted is alleviated by like what 75 for or no uh yeah by like 75 percent. so for us 70 percent, and it's starting late because i don't think it's going to be retroactive no i can't do that in addition get some armor so we don't explode crit chance god we didn't even need to reroll missile is pretty good on a jack run of which this sort of is. I get some knockback. Knockback also decent on a jack run. I know that we... Um... Oh, we didn't take whetstone? I thought we took whetstone. I know that I may have wanted to take whetstone. But yeah, just being able to push enemies away from us because they are going to take a little bit longer to die, of course. Alright. Do we buy Tyrant? I think we buy Tyrant. I think we, I think we gotta. We do just have to make sure we don't get one shot. Because we're going to be increasing enemy damage and health by so much. Creating this weird game that's scaling with us. But like, 
Oh, God, I don't know. I'm excited for it. My fear is that for some reason it will remember my kills and Tyrant will be retroactive. That's really... That could ruin me. If that happens, I think I am ruined. I think we'd probably still win anyways, but... I doubt that that combo works like that, though. Right, fine. Sure. It does not work like that. Wonderful. We need support. There won't be that many enemies anyways. Renegade. Ooh. So we do have 75% uh, extra damage against bosses. Which is good because otherwise we would do an explode against them. Oh god. We're trying to abuse my my range, you know, that one thing that I have like a whole lot of. I'm trying to use it to destroy that man. Thank you. Look how much money! Look how much money! It's so beautiful. I know it's like not a full increase of like, it's not 50% or wait. 200% materials drop from enemies, 50% to all drops from enemies. Does include the crates. Does it double it after the fact? Am I getting 400%? I thought the answer would be no, I'm getting 250% for materials, but I don't know now. I'm, I'm unsure now. Because it does use different phrasing. We got double uh, legendaries. I'll definitely take regen. Uh, wait, did I? Oh, I got two. <laughs> got two of them. Take some speed. Looking for like a higher value uh, survivability thing. Okay, we're, we're crit capped on... As far as it matters, we're crit capped. Thank you. Thank you. Got so many levels here. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. The scope is great, especially for this combination. Take a gentle alien. So yeah, how many kills did we get? I think he bugged. Get items instead of upgrades when you level up, plus 100% experience gain. Let's play with that, probably, right? I know everybody wanted me to pick that last time. I don't think that you can get characters for what it's worth. Some people are saying, get that. When you level up, you could buy, you could get characters when you level up. I don't think that that will happen from what I, it could, but I don't think that this puts them in the item pool. So I'm pretty sure that that doesn't happen. The huge experience gain is good, obviously. I don't know. I'm on the fence about it. I feel like we could do something more fun. I think we could do something more fun, but this could get us to that guaranteed third, but also the item price is going up by 50%. Kind of takes away a lot of the fun of what's broken about this run right now, which is just the sheer amount of like raw capital that I'm generating from taking down basically little bosses. But yeah, it seems like the tyrant's broken with this, which I'll take it. I'll take it. I can't say it's a, a mod mismatch because it's from the Violence Aesthetics mod, so that's on that 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 one's on you. I know that the character says like not responsible for uh, for problems that arise from downloading other mods. Well, this one I did not. This is baked into this mod. Oh baby, oh baby, oh mama. All right. God, the amount of money we get from enemies versus from trees. 
funny to look at. But yeah. 865, 880, sorry. Yeah, I'll take a gun my Berserker. I'll take a small magazine. 45 range. Ah, we'll get some speed up. Yeah, small magazine is it's good enough. Doctor, investor. Okay, so 40% experience gain with no downside, though. I'm a little bit more interested in that. Snail could be good. Dodge death protection. Honestly, death protection on this run sounds kind of nice. Pierce through an additional feels a little weird on this run. I'll take it anyways. Because, like... Am I ever using all of my pierces? I feel like I kind of doubt it. Oh, why are you so fast? Are you getting sped up and the tyrant is lying to me? Maybe the tyrant's just lying to me. Nope. Oh, we also only got one crate there. We got two crates before. I'm confused. I'm confused. Are we not getting the double-double money anymore? I feel like the Tyrant may just not be working at all in it at this point. I feel like... Not to sound greedy, but looking at these piles of money... It feels as though... It's even lower than normal, but it could be because it's an elite wave. There's maybe something funky with that, but like... We got 650, eh, 700 compared to like 850 on the last wave. I'll definitely take an extra stomach. You better believe that. 12% more damage. Yeah, I just don't want to get one shot. Surprised, like a surprise one shot. Collector shops will always sell at least one weapon. Gain upgrades, stats according to the tier and scaling status of every weapon. Uh, it's a very cool character. I don't think I'm going to do it right now. King. Uh, seems like an absolutely god tier character to get in the late game. We already have perfect piercing damage. I'll grab bait. Always a little bit scary, but I will do it. Yeah, we get more legendaries. Obviously, like, we're going to want to take a lot of legendary items. Okay, maybe it's just that wave 14 has, like, a weird drop for money. Because it feels like the pools of money is actually, like, a little bit, a little bit more in line with what I was thinking it was supposed to be. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think that enemies might drop a little bit less money on an elite wave to sort of, like, make up for the fact that you get a free legendary, which makes it so, like, if you don't get a legendary, if you don't get the kill, that feels really bad. Could be wrong. Could be wrong, but we're nearing the, uh... Yeah, we just kind of got the amount of money that we had last wave sort of already here. And we got the eight, eight seconds left. Yeah, I don't know. That's kind of weird. It feels like it self-balances around the fact that you might get a legendary, which does mean if you don't get that legendary, you are in hell. More percentage damage. Yeah, my health goes down. My damage goes up 100%. My, so does my attack speed. But my health does go down. It is worth it. Okay, so we, yeah, we had the damage modification downgrade. Now we don't. Uh, wholesaler? Is it like, it's like an ideal last. I mean, I'll go for Scar. We're, we're going through the level up process once more. I'll get a warrior helmet. Um, okay. All right. 
That was satisfying. We got that. I swear we didn't even, like, touch the money. We just got it immediately. Imagine getting Peacock before this wave. Holy. Oh, that'd be beautiful. Yeah, no, we, uh... Getting King so late in the game so that you don't even have to play him when he's, um weak and you only get him when he's good is hilarious and now we're like further in the game so just taking legendaries for the sake of taking legendaries is going to be helpful right am i missing something wait oh yeah you gain health health from i mean i don't know how much i'm gonna take legendaries for the sake of legendaries then if all you get is health I think we're fine. But yeah. We got, uh... We're gonna get, like, 15 level ups. Yep, 15 level ups in one wave. Doesn't mean we're gonna get to level 25. Just looking at the higher value things. Come on now. Attack speed. Life steal. Come on, we can do better. Thank you. <laughs> we're, we're crit capped where it matters um nice this is so silly hitting that limit where you get an extra go of it oops didn't mean to do that extra one Uh, Dangerous Bunny. I mean, I guess it pays for itself. Barely? I'm not going to do it. All right. It's a funny one here. I think a Tardigrade is in order at this point, though. <laughs> uh, Mad Kit, sure. Let's start thinking about... I think we need to start thinking about what we would buy with Wholesaler. If we can. I don't want to get too attached to it, though, and then, like, we don't get to that level up, you know? That would be very disappointing. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful mess we've made. You can't get duplicates of the same character, can you? I feel like you can't. Be fun if you could. Okay, 18 maybe? We'll get to 18, right? Surely. Okay, so 18. Maybe 19? But yeah, we don't have the, uh, yeah, 19. We don't have the, uh... Ability to level up also through harvest thing is the problem. Nope. Nope. Okay. Improved tools. Cyclops worm. I mean, shh. Well. Yeah, it's good. It's one of those ones where you feel like you're not supposed to take it. I'll take Scar just because I, I want to see if I can make the magic happen. Speed cap at 3 for 80 range. Sure. Alright, you're not going to live very long, I'm going to guess. I was right. I, I, was, <laughs> I was indeed correct. 20. Can we make it to the mythical five without harvest thing? That would be the day, man. Getting to five characters. Getting to five characters would be crazy. Because that is getting to level 20. It's getting to level one and then getting and then starting over and then getting to level nine and then starting over and then getting to level what 15 and then starting over and getting to level 20 and then starting over and getting to level 25. That's not just getting to level 25. I don't know how many levels that is, but that is a lot of levels. But I just need to know. I need to know if I can make it to 25 or not, so I need to know if I should start sacking or holding up money. 
it's actually looking as much as you may see like, oh, you level up three times, you're going to get there. I actually don't think I am. Unfortunately, it's not good, which is obviously always sad. I don't think I really want the bounce. Healing off of it, I suppose. Tell you what. We'll hedge our bets. We'll hedge our bets. I doubt we get enough, but Wave 19 does have more enemies on average. So there is going to be theoretically a lot more experience up for grabs. Zoop. I don't know, because the, obviously every level, every level starts to need more and more. Come on, man. Come on, man. All right. We're going to get to 24, like, and a half for sure. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. But I think as I predicted... Oh, it's close. It's going to be close. Oh my god, it's going to be close. Come on. No! <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. Why you be like this? There's piggy bank. I think that actually is going to be pretty good for the boss. Cyclops Worm is actually a net gain. It feels like it's not sometimes, but it is. Oh. Uh. I guess so. You're gonna think I'm crazy? That took longer than I thought. All right. Alas, alas, that is that. That's gonna do it here for today. Will we be back with more Recruiter? I'm not sure. You guys seem to like it, I think, right? I don't know. I liked it a lot. I recorded the first two before I even saw uh, your opinions because <laughs> I just really, really liked it. I wanted to play it again for my own sake. And then this one was basically the same thing. I was like, I liked it a lot. I was, I'm gonna do it again. We'll see. We'll see whether or not we play more of it in a row or not. But you can obviously do some really strange things, and it is just super cool. Oh, we had 69% damage up from our range there. Um, yeah, just thinking about this combination is so good, and I would have never thought it up. Like, obviously, I the second I picked Crossbow, I wanted Hunter, but I never could have thought up this combination. It's just a really, even though it makes a lot of sense, it's very good. It would have been still really good even if Tyrant worked. And Tyrant is bugged, I guess, with this character, and it didn't even work. So, hey. Alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check the channel for Roguelikes and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.